Okay, so we've installed Twitter Cart and we've went to the options page and we've connected our Twitter account to our Twitter Cart store, WordPress, WooCommerce store on your WordPress website. So now what we want to do is we want to post some of our products to Twitter. How do we do that? Well, here's the products page. And the products page is basically your, your products from WooCommerce are dynamically, as soon as you configure the plugin, populated here. And so um, you can see the image, you can see the uh, product description, the price, the date, the category, whether it's in stock or not, if you have that criteria set up in WooCommerce, the status of the uh, product as far as Twitter cart's concerned, which basically means have I posted it uh, recently or have I not? And if you have, you'll see a link showing you when you posted it. And if you've not posted it, then you want to post it to Twitter by clicking on post to Twitter here. So let's have a look. I want to organize this so I can see what items are in stock and then I will post an item that's in stock from my WooCommerce store. So if I click on that, I will see I have um, slick blue jeans here. So I'm going to post that to Twitter because it's not been posted yet. So I click on here. And this takes me to my Twitter account, which is Twitter, Twitter Cart's version of your Twitter account on the web. So with our slight design taste on it, um, this is basically your Twitter account. So you never need to leave WordPress um, in order to post to Twitter, to reply to people, to add people. The whole um, way in which your Twitter account works on the web, it works the same way with Twitter uh, Cart Pro and Twitter Cart Vendor. You don't get this with the free version, um, but let's carry on and post this product. So we have the slick blue jeans. It's taken the product name, the price, and the link. And then I'm going to say um, amazing jeans, only a few left. Uh, secure yours now. And then I put hashtag, hashtag and I'll have my hashtag as slick jeans sale. There we go. So um, effectively, I've now made my tweet and I'm going to tweet the tweet. And if I have the product image, um, that's going to basically take the product image that you have in your WooCommerce store by default, your lead image. But if you wanted to put a different image up, then you could uncheck that and add your own photo, whether it be a lifestyle photograph of that particular pair of jeans with somebody wearing them on the beach or whatever. Um, so now we're going to put back the uh, product image by default and hit tweet. And there we get the notification that that was successfully posted to Twitter. I'm going to refresh the page here. And it's going to show me on the right hand side that this product has been posted to Twitter. And what other ones I've recently posted to Twitter as well as what products I could post to Twitter in the future. So now I'm going to go to my Twitter account and I'm going to basically hit refresh. And I'm going to go up and there we go. There's my slick blue jeans um, being posted with the image. And it's available there for me to, to purchase. If I was a customer, I would see that. And then I could just reply with the, uh, the hashtag slick jeans sale. And if I'm an existing customer at the store, then um, it will effectively go into my shopping cart. So the next time I go to BrowserWeb's store, I can see my jeans have been put into the uh, my account as a customer, and then I can decide to purchase them um, at that particular time. So that is how it works. Uh -huh.